Hey guys, Sam with High Desert Gardening here. Today I'm going to show you how I sowed my radish seeds this year. Radish is a really easy early spring crop to grow and it grants you a really quick harvest. Here I've got this old pot that I had from last year with some soil in it. It's still pretty good soil. I topped it with some extra potting mix just to give it a refreshing new dose of nutrition. Here I have some seed tape. I love using seed tape for things like radishes and carrots because everything is already nicely spaced out for you. So I'm going to go and lay out my seed tape, kind of just fitting it into the container here. And I'm putting down two pieces of seed tape just across the container. I'm going to dig a very light furrow just so I can set the seed tape inside. And guys, if you don't have seed tape, you can just sow regular seeds. These are small radishes and they would be just fine spaced out about one inch apart. Next I'm just going to gently put the soil back over it. This is just a thin layer of soil, about a quarter inch or so. You don't want to bury the seeds too deeply. You don't want it too shallow either. So I'm just going to gently press down on the seed tape and tamp the soil down just to maintain good seed to soil contact. Now it's ready for watering, so I'm just filling my watering can with some rainwater that I harvested from the rains in the past seasons. This will get the seeds off to a really good start. And just gently watering that in. I want to make sure no seed tape is getting exposed, so I'm just doing a gentle trickle of water over the soil. So you just want to let that be and make sure that the soil is consistently moist you don't want the seeds to dry out. I'm checking on this every single day and watering. Within just a few days I'm seeing some small signs of seeds sprouting. It's always so exciting when you see the first new speck of green indicating that the seeds are coming out. And here you guys, this is after several days. I lost one of the seed tapes, it just didn't do well, but the other seed tape is doing really well as you can see. All the radishes are nicely lined up without me having to do really anything. So I'm going to continue to water this whenever the soil becomes a little bit dry. And I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching High Desert Gardening and stay tuned for the next one.